Stephen Harper first weighed in on NAFTA talks a few weeks ago in Washington. I tell business the following, is it, um, is it conceivable or is it just not, not conceivable that, tr that the administration could cancel NAFTA? I believe it is conceivable. Now, a leaked memo suggests the former prime minister has serious concerns with how the Liberal government is handling the negotiations. I came back alarmed, he writes to clients of his consulting firm. I fear that the NAFTA renegotiation is going very badly. He goes on to say it does not matter whether current American proposals are worse than what we have now. What matters in evaluating them is whether it is worth having a trade agreement with the Americans or not. Today, this Conservative MP backed up her former boss. This is a whole or nothing, is what the analysis is now, which is, is it worth losing NAFTA over this particular issue? Harper's memo criticizes the current Canadian government for rejecting U.S. proposals too quickly, insisting on negotiating alongside Mexico, and for pushing progressive values. Canada's foreign affairs minister fired back via Twitter, saying, we don't agree with former PM Harper's advice. We will continue to defend Canadian interests. Capitulation is not a negotiating strategy. This professor says Canada's team has to be tough in the negotiations. But the fact that uh, Donald Trump is you know, completely unpredictable doesn't mean that we have to accept an agreement that would move a lot of the benefits to the U.S., possibly, potentially, with all of these demands on their side, hurt the Canadian side. Another analyst says Canada's relationship with Mexico is also crucial. And throwing them under the bus for the Trump administration that's completely untrustworthy um, is, uh, would be a huge mistake. It's worth noting that several Conservatives, including two former MPs under Harper, are helping the Liberals with these negotiations. The talks are expected to continue into the new year. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.